Churches has the zeal advantage. They have a little bit better positioning. Nico getting pushed back. Zeal down. Big punch! Okay. Alright. I need to do a YouTube intro, y'all. So, can y'all be mature and not embarrass me when I do this? <laughs> no. Alright, that's fair. Okay! We are back it is time it's been a month but we're back and doing it hello and welcome back to the fourth visual kaith chow karate tournament you the viewers get your chow you make a chow and i enter them in this tournament and you make them fight how this is gonna work is basically everybody who's joined in the chat and followed and have been here for the stream they get their chow put into this tournament where they are cheese chow are then going to fight each other in said tournament and we're gonna see how it turns out this is a double elimination tournament so even if you get knocked out once you still got another chance you still have that opportunity for the losers run jump at the fucking round one this is fucking exciting round one here we go. Um, I'm very excited to see how much the zeal and everything is going to change because zeal was really a big problem last time. So hopefully this is better. Um, all right, so these guys are going to be fighting. As you guys say, oh, look like Lotus got in there first. Ooh, pretty balanced in damage. Um, Nico has pretty good defenses, so Nico is like one of the highest defense stats in the entire Chow listing. But Lotus is still putting up a fight, getting in good kicks. Oh, that was a really mean kick though. <laughs> Okay, um, oh no, Nico is not messing around. Oh no, zealed out! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that definitely goes to Nico for round one. All right, here we go. Vogue, the Dark Phoenix versus Futaba, the Glass Cannon. Let's see how it goes. Here we go, round two. Um, uh, Futaba getting first kick. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Futaba, Futaba gave it their all. They're going to losers. Kame versus Sin. Let's see how it goes. Round three. Boom. All right. Uh, Kame's very strong. I don't really remember Sin's stat spread. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Kame. Oh, no. Oh, Kame. Bracket link? Oh, right here. Oh, my God. But if hell loves its moon bear versus sun. Ooh. I would love to see that. <laughs> All right, Fell versus Charges. Here we go. Who's got the brighter wings? Ooh, Church's defense is really paying off now. Also, Fell doesn't have his high attack, but they're getting two hits in. A big dodge. That's really good for Fell. Another big dodge. That's also really hurting Church's zeal. Uh, Fell's actually kind of making something happen. Oh, but one punch and Church is evening the odds. Oh, Church's got another punch in early. Oh no, and it's, it's just like that. It's already really even, though it looks like a... Oh no, Fell fell down the ch zeal first. Oh, we're, it looks like we're trading some zeal hits now. Okay, all right. Okay, Church just got up again. All right, um, just for doing the zeal, he had like mache, so I just have both the controllers here to do that. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! Oh... That was a really good fight. Fell put up a fight. Churches is very strong. But uh, kudos to Fell for sticking it in as long as they did. Wow. Uh, we are going to get Sin versus Fell and losers, so that's pretty exciting. All right, here we go. Lone Samurai versus TV Static Fanatic Bougie. Let's see. How it goes. Round one. Uh, oh, I can't even hear the sound alerts. Uh oh. I can't hear the sound alerts at all. Oops. Anyways, uh, we're gonna fight. Uh, Bougie gonna get dodge. Two hits on Pudge early. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay. Um, all right. Pudge evening it up pretty well. Uh, but Bougie is hanging in there. Oh, they're right on the edge. It's really close. Can they do it? Oh, no. They traded punches. Brutal. Brutal. 
Bougie going to losers while Pudge is moving on. All right, 40 v Mera. Let's go. Beautiful tail versus the fantastic ears. I can't get over how much I love those ears. It's so perfect. All right. Oh, 40 getting the first kick. Meaty kick. 40 has a lot of power. Mera clearly not having so much defense. Oh my god. These matches have been crazy fast. Look at all the zeal Mera lost. No death. Chow brought back from from the dead, the one that I accidentally deleted because I did not have this shit organized before, is now back and shinier than ever. Let's see how they do. Sorry, no, the French is gonna wreck that name. <laughs> Alright, who's gonna get the first kick? Oh, Frederick. Oh, Frederick! Barely being able to do any damage. No Death has super high defense, and it's actually really showing. Oh my god! That's, that's impressive to take a hit from Frederick that well. Honestly, they might be able to kind of make this happen. Interesting. Oh, wow. Frederick getting a punch off before the kick. That's huge. It's really hard to dodge a kick, to get a punch in that early before a kick. Oh, they're on the edge. Can no death find a way? Oh, they're zealed out. They're both zealed out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Frederick's going to get up first. Will no death be able to get up early enough to get a dodge in? They won't be able to respond. Oh, no. Oh, no. They dodged out of the ring. <laughs> oh, no. The most unfortunate way to get out. We've seen it a couple times. They haven't died yet. Technically, they didn't die. They just surrendered. <laughs> uh, Dangus is my chow for the uninitiated. And they do not have a good tournament history. <laughs> they have one of the oldest chow and probably the lowest seated of the initial chow. So we'll see. Oh, he's fast, though. He fast. He get that kick on Bunny. That's a good start. Oh, but oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no, Dangus. Yeah, Dangus has like no power and no swim. He's like, that's like actually the worst stats for combat. Oh, God. Oh, he's done. Oh, no. <laughs> Dangus sent to losers. As it turned out, all the higher seeded Chow. Moving on to the round two. Very interesting. Um,. Yeah, maybe lowering the stat levels may be, uh, may be a, a good idea. We'll see. That's all good and dandy. We are now moving on to the losers, round one. All right, so this is losers. Somebody's getting eliminated here. I hate to say it, but it has to happen eventually. Let's see. We're going to have to see, though, who goes out first. Best of luck to both of them. Will Futaba's high stats be able to make up for their abysmal defense? Or will Lotus be able to mix up and shake it up? Lotus, you're amazing. You got this, my precious baby. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, Futaba went in first. Oh, my God. Oh, they are both taking a lot of damage. Who's going to get the first hit? Oh, my God. Lotus knocking out Futaba with the kick. To counter the punch! If Futaba had kicked, I think it would have been over. That is our first loss of the tournament. Can we please get some salutes and chat for Futaba and Ocean? They they put their best foot in there. I think Futaba's lack of uh lack of stats is really starting to to show that defense is brutal. We could definitely uh, Ocean, we could definitely do a different situation there. Uh, but thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. We're glad you're here. Uh, it sucks that somebody's got to go first, but it, it's just the way it is. But good job, and we love seeing it. Sin versus Fell. I can't choose between Sin versus Cell. Fuck. Oh, this is a brutal one to have and losers already. All right, here we go. Who's going to get... They have the same eyes. All right, who's going to get the first move? Fell, showing to have a little bit more speed. Getting a kick. Decent damage on Sin. Oh, following up. Another kick. Oh, no! Sin couldn't even get a hit in. Sin, thank you so much for being here. We love it. All right. The static loving cat. 
versus the lovely peacock Mera. Who's gonna get the first strike? It looks like it's gonna be, oh, they're about equal. Oh, they're trading blows. Ooh, Bougie taking a little more damage. Mero's have a little more strength than uh, Bougie. Doing it again. Not a good strategy for Bougie. Not only are they taking more damage, but they're also going down zeal fast. Oh, but a smart kick from Bougie. Very good move. Are they gonna keep it up? Oh, they're still trading blows, but it looks like uh, Bougie might have the damage advantage. Oh, Bougie getting a free hit while Mero's getting zealed out. Oh, and getting knocked out. Bougie takes it. What a strong play! And Mera, what a fantastic showing. Let's get some salutes to chat for Mera. You did such a good job. We love having you here. Robin, I don't know if you're here right now, but I'm still gonna give you your box right now. All right, here we go. How's it gonna go? I'm going the most off meta choice I could go with. I obviously think he's gonna get the first hit. Uh, but does no damage, because again, they have no strength, and no death has high swim. Oh my god, dodging and dodging. This is, uh, who's, is somebody gonna punch? Oh my god, ooh, no death taking the punch, though. Are they gonna be able to get a hit in? Oh my god, Dangus. No defense, it's showing. Oh, Dangus, you're gonna have to dig deep to find something, but you're zealed out already. This is not looking good. Oh my god, he's just getting mollywopped. He's getting thrown around the ring. It is over. Full HP down and knocked out. No death takes it. That's fine. I'm honestly okay with Degas being knocked out. They don't need to be in here. Originally, it was just to fill out space, but, you know, now it's just like, he's just a meme at this point. <laughs> do 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 All right, we are now moving on to round two. All right, let's see what happens. Nico Jr. versus Volg. Fancy glasses versus fancy wings. What's gonna happen? Okay. Nobody knows. Oh, big kick from Volg. Hitting damage. That's some good damage on Nico. Oh, Nico has a lot of damage. I think Volg just doesn't have a lot of defense, though. Oh, my God. I think all that investment in power is really starting to pay off for Nico Jr. Oh, but taking a kick. Oh, it's just not enough, though. Oh, no. Yeah, that's it. He's got so much power. He's starting... Nico Jr. is starting to look really scary. Not gonna lie. Alright, Kame. Churches. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God. Look at that. That was such an even exchange. Kame took way more zeal. Oh, no. That's not a good, uh... That's not a good... Oh, no. Oh, no. Church is... Oh! Church is overkill on the punch. Church just moves on, sending Kame straight to losers. All right. The Lone Samurai versus the Hip Hop Elephant. Who's going to make it happen? Uh, Pudge is probably going to get the first move. Pudge is a very fast chow. Oh, that's a strong kick. That's like kicks aren't supposed to be that strong typically. Oh, trading kicks. Oh, Jesus Christ. These chow are really friggin' strong. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pudge takes it. Pudge is the previous winner for a reason. Frederick versus Bunny, the way you do what? Here we go, Frederick, Bunny, what's it gonna be? Hey! All right. Um, oh, Frederick getting an early kick on Bunny. Bunny's gonna be using some of that dodging they have. Oh no, but it's not enough. They're taking too many hits. This is not looking good for Bunny. Oh no, they're already zealed out? What? That's insane. Oh my god. Or no, Frederick moves on. Bunny's out. Oh my god. We're now moving on to the losers round. Where we're gonna have to where we will be seeing some knockouts from the tournament. Um let's get started with Vogue versus No Death. I might have to actually add a list of mods so people can actually like I can actually share it pretty easy. Yeah, Chow World Extended, that's the main one. Anyways, uh, ooh, that did, like, no damage from Volk. Volk's really strong, too, so no death has a lot of defense. Are they gonna be able- Oh, my God, but they are just dodgy. Oh, that's a mean hit, though. They're gonna go down to Zeal soon. 
Oh, and another kick. That's not good. No death needs to sealed out. I think that's it for no death. Oh, and just a very, very soft kick to tap them out. No death, unfortunately, has been eliminated. Oh, this is their tournament match. Who will make it? Who's gonna make it out? The turtle hermit versus the static caddy. Build like bull. <laughs> Who's gonna get the first move? Oh, they're about equal. Kame showing experience, going for the early kick. Bougie can't really, you can't really be going for greedy kick punches like that early on. Bougie's able to do decent damage to Kame, but are they gonna be able to pull it out? Oh no, trading punch is bad. They're both sealed out though. This is really close. This is anyone's match. Their seal's gonna recover about the same way. They're gonna be back to neutral. It's gonna be either way. It depends on who makes the move. What are they gonna go for? Who's going for it? Bougie going for the kick correctly. It is down to the last hit scenario. Who's gonna be able to get it? Kami takes it with the clutch kick at the end. Bougie with the distance. Oh my god, that was so close. What a showing by Bougie. We love it when a newcomer shows in and really shows their stuff. The Terminal Hermit is not one to be trifled with. So honestly, you should absolutely be proud of your son, Justin. <laughs> 4D, the wild elephant fell, the biblically accurate angel. Let's give it a go. Who's gonna get the first move? Oh, Fell slightly faster. Getting a kick, still trading hits though, but Fell taking a little bit more damage. Fell has a little bit more speed. Oh, they're trading hits again. Ooh, 4D not taking as much damage. That difference in power is really starting to show. Getting a kick though, very smart from, from Fell, knocking them out. This might be it. Fell takes it. Wow. 4D is an absolute sweetheart and insanely generous and... I, I cannot understate that enough. Thank you so much, 4D. Oh, it's double bunny matchup. It's yellow bunny versus pink bunny. Oh my god, who's the real bunny? Who's the strongest bunny? You have your AB check with an honor? Aw. Uh, let's go. Who's gonna go first? Oh, Lotus showing their speed. That's a meaty hit. Uh, Bunny not having so much defense. Will they be able to show off? Oh, jeez. Lotus is bullying Bunny. Oh, no! Bunny went for a kick! Oh. Lotus with a perfect win. No damage. Lotus takes it. Moving on to losers. Knocking Bunny out. Really? So we're going to continue in the losers. We're going to do now Kame versus Volg. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Go! All right, yep, yeah, first move from Volg. Volk getting a punch. Oh! Trading blows is not what, Ka what Volk wants to do. That's the game that Volk wants to be- Oh! <laughs> Kame. Volk, thank you so much for being here. Really glad to see you here. You're still getting seventh. You're still doing good. You didn't do worse. Fight! First strike goes to Fell. Not doing that much damage, but being able to get an early hit is big. Oh, but... Oh, they traded blows. That worked out pretty well for Fell. They were able to get a punch. I was worried they weren't going to get in. Another blow trade. Jesus, Fell is just pushing Lotus to the edge. Getting another kick and knocking him out. Fell takes it. That could have gone either way. Thank you so much, Mayoko and Lotus. You guys did fantastic. Seventh place in your first tournament. That is nothing to scoff at. Let's get you your boxes. But right now, we're seeing Church's winner match. All right. Loki! Who's going to go first? I think they have the same speed. These are actually really equal child. This is... It's gonna be interesting. Okay, so Nico's a little faster. Getting the first hit. Doing almost no damage to Church's. We got a match in our hands. Big That's dodge from Church's, kind. though. Dude, Kyle, thank you for the sub. Oh my god. Min match. Sub of the nation. Oh my god. Nico is untouchable. Showing that strength and prowess. Oh god. Church's strength is not enough to break that defense of Nico. Church is going to have to dig deep and find something. But a big dodge from Nico. Nico is showing their experience. Holy crap. 
Oh, big... Oh, here we go. Follow up from churches. It's not over yet. They could go either way still. Oh, my God. But that is not an... Uh, that is an unfortunate situation for Zeal for churches. Oh, my God. Churches is getting pushed back further and further. But then another hit. Oh, no. Is this going to be it? Oh, my God. You got robbed, Ryan. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're still not out yet, though, Ryan. Churches is just going down the losers. This is a big one. These are two very strong Chow. All these Chow have winners. You're the only one who voted for Frederick. I mean, I sold Pudge pretty hard, but Frederick is not to be underestimated. Like, that last match was so even, it could go either way. Oh, Pudge being the first hit, dealing a meaty damage now to Frederick. Oh, no, Frederick's not playing smart. Frederick, you know better than this. Knocking and interrupting the kick, that's really big. Oh, big kick from Pudge, pushing Frederick to the edge. Oh, my God. Frederick, no. Pudge takes it. Frederick is sent to losers, where I think they're going to fight churches. Churches versus Fell. All right, who's going to get the first move? Fell going for the first move. Church is getting that kick, though. See, they're not doing that much. I remember, yeah, this is still pretty even. Oh, but Church is showing experience, knowing the value in the kicks. Fell's going to need to really change it up. Trading blows is not what you want to do against Church. Is he's a strong chow. This might be Fell's last chance. They're zealed out. This is not looking good. Will Fell be able to survive the hits? A heartbreaker. A heartbreaker. Big salutes for Fell. What a showing, making it the fifth place in their first tournament. That's nuts. Let's see how it plays out. Ooh, big kick from Frederick. Frederick is strong, and I don't think Kami has nearly- Oh no, Frederick is- Frederick is angry after the- Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Frederick is done playing around. Kame inched out of their fourth place. Ba bum Churches, the Chicken Master versus Frederick the Shining Dragon. Let's go! First hit's gonna go, oh, equal speed, trading blows. Church is showing that they have a little more strength than Frederick. I did not expect that. I think Churches has inched out Frederick in attack and defense. Strong start from Frederick. Oh, a star strike from Churches. Churches is uh, taking out Frederick's zeal. Is that it? That's it. Churches is moving on. Frederick with their earliest elimination to date. Frederick, a really strong showing. They were doing good. They had some some matches where I think they really struggled with the new Zeal meta. But they either way, they came and made it happen. Nico J versus Pudge. Here we go. Uh Trading blow. Yep, see, these guys are so equal in power, it's nuts. They are so similar. Trading blows, getting a punch, big dodge from Nico, and following up from Pudge. These two are like the kings. These are the goats of the match. Big dodge. They are trading blow for blow. Big dodge from Nico. Is Pudge gonna follow up? Pudge is not gonna. That's a big miss. Oh, but they are both sealed out. Convenient timing. Uh, I think Nico's gonna get a free hit on Pudge. No, big dodge! Oh my god, is Pudge gonna be able to get a hit finally? Finally, second hit. That was a long time. Oh, but Pudge taking a punch to the face. Following up with a kick, though. Back to Nico. Strong response. Big dodge. Is Nico gonna follow up with a dodge? Doesn't look like it. They are even in damage. Zeal is not in Nico's favor, and a dodge is gonna bring him down. Pudge is gonna get a free hit. How quick is it gonna be? Oh, big hit. Big hit. Oh no, it's sealed out again. Nico's gonna Nico has ground to make. But Pudge is looking real strong. Oh my god! Huge! Huge kick! Kick was insane! Pudge! First time going to winners finals without being eliminated. It's okay. Nico Nico's never had a loser's run, but this is Nico's chance for a huge loser's run. Who's it gonna be? 
Nico or Churches. Trading blows off the top. Church is taking a much bigger hit, though. Nico got a stronger punch. Oh, Nico doing a faster kick than Churches. Oh, but Church is getting a strong punch for Buttle. All right, we're still good. We're still got a chance. Oh, but Nico taking a free punch on Churches. Nico getting a dodge. It's starting to sh Oh, no. Church, Church is getting demoralized. Churches, you got to pull something deep. Oh, Church is going dangerously close to the edge. Dodge back. Oh, no, they're both sealed down. Oh, God, this is really close. Will Churches be able to respond? Will Churches be able to respond? Oh, they're still alive! Oh, big punch! Big punch! Getting so much stage prejudice for that. That's gonna help Churches so much. Oh, and another kick. Churches is not out. And a big dodge. Oh, my God. Has the turns... Have the flow of the battle been changed? Churches has the zeal advantage. They have a little bit better positioning. Nico getting pushed back. Zeal down. Big punch! Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, no! Clearly. <laughs> all right. It's all right. We are not strangers to this situation. This has happened before. In the infamous... In the infamous race of Frederick of 94 that caused the loss of the original of two baby chow... We've been in this scenario before. I can say for sure that that is not... That is not standard practice. So, in the interest of fairness, we have to redo the match. We cannot accept that as a result. <laughs> we can't confirm... I can't confirm if that was something churches did, or if that was an unfortunate glitch happening towards Nico. I want to see that analyzed frame by frame. <laughs> If Churches is able to recreate the move, I will consider it a valid move. But since I have never seen such a move, and it seems beyond the normal scope of what a Chow is capable of doing, I cannot accept it. The problem is, I didn't see... It didn't look like Churches is in control of that. It looked like Churches didn't attack from what I remember seeing, went back to their standard stance, and then something happened to Nico. It may have been an issue with the stadium. While I've been doing this analysis, we've had some experts on the stage analyzing and making sure that it's all up the regulation. So hopefully that nothing like that happened again. But if Church is able to do it again, I will consider it a legal Chow Karate move. But from what I've seen and in my experience as the Cobra Chicken Guy, <laughs> in my experience as years of experience as a as a chow karate and chow raising aficionado i feel like something was amiss there all right now we've gotten that out of the way i think i know my thumbnail now for the next video jesus because that's what you've all been you've all been very sportsman and i want to see that continuing let's see how this plays out all right another early trading blows with church is getting a super strong hit off the top Oh, another blow trade. This is pretty even still. Uh, trading kicks, but Churches did not get it out fast enough. Nico getting a free hit, but then Churches following up with his own kick. Churches early zeal down. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, Nico's pushing Churches back. But oh, big dodge. Low zeal. This isn't looking great for Church. Is Church gonna be able to get another hit? They are. Oh no, but a dodge. Churches is knocked down. Oh no. Church is on the edge. Is Nico going to be able to push them down? Nico takes it. Nico takes it. And this round does go to Nico. But it was an excellent showing. And you got a amazing third place. Overcoming Frederick. That your win's coming up one day, man. You, it's coming. You're going to get it. It might not be tonight, but I know Churches is going to get their win, man. For the finals, we do best two out of three. All the ones have just been one match rounds. This is best two out of three. So, to win, Nico's going to need to win two best two out of three matches. Pudge, if they win the first two best two out of three, they're going to get the win. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Ah! Here we go. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. Trading blows. Early double punch. 
Here we go. Spin kick from Pudge. That is just, he has mastered that kick. Big dodge from Pudge. Following up Nico though, he is not gonna be outplayed by the Samurai. Big punch from Pudge, or onto Pudge. Pudge just taking it to the face. Another dodge from Nico. Following up with the zone. Zeal's down about equal. Big dodge. Pudge is zealed out. Nico gets the first hit on the on the, on the uh, zeal out. Dodge from Pudge. Pudge is gonna get a free hit on Nico. We are trading zeal hits. We have not had this happen in a while. But Pudge taking a little bit of a nap. He th Quincy thought he had enough of a nappy, but he needed a second one mid-match. Pudge is taking big hits. Oh, zeal down. Pudge is slightly down in the disadvantage in the, uh, oh god, it's real loud. It's slightly down disadvantage-wise in the damage. They're evening it up, though. Oh, big hit. They are just trading blows. Trading blows. Back and forth. Big kick from Pudge. Oh, big follow kick from Nico, though. Nico taking a rest. They're just trading zeal hits at this point. It's just, it's just the slobber knocker. These two are tired. They're just punching like they're drunk in a Denny's parking lot. Dear God. Oh, big kick from Pudge. I think Pudge is currently at disadvantage. It's right at the end, though. Was that enough to give him the win? Is Pudge going to get a free hit? I think it is. That's Pudge's round. Pudge gets the first round. Pudge gets the first round right down to the last second. It came down to those last couple hits. One Pudge. 1-0 one -oh for Pudge. If Pudge wins this, they get the second win. Nico's got a bit of a comeback. Pudge is an expert of fighting in the Denny's parking lot. Going right back into the next round. Let's go. Nico's not out. Nico's fought but Nico's fought harder things. Nico had to fight their son for a win. That's how they got their first win. They had to beat their son. They had to look themselves dead in the eye and say, I man better than you. Oh, early kick from Nico, stopping that nasty punch from Pudge. And then following up with a dodge. Pudge dodging on their own though. It's uh still pretty even. Still pretty even. Kick from Pudge. Kick from Nico. I keep messing it up. Pudge following up with their own kick. Nico, what are they going to respond with? Again, they are just trading blows back and forth. There's very little nuance in this fight. Oh, but dodge into hit. Going to zeal down Pudge, giving Nico a free hit. Nico having at least like double the damage done to Pudge. Oh, Pudge trying to get their own punch, but not going to work in that scenario. But there we go, getting their own punch, following up. Oh, Pudge is trying to go for a spin to get in there, but Nico had enough time to get that punch. Nico is now down in zeal, giving Pudge a free hit. And it's... Okay, Pudge is also down, getting their own zeal back up a little bit. Nico's up again. Oh, man, this is close. Oh, that's a really big dodge. Oh, but Nico following up with their own. They just seem to trick. These two know each other so well. These guys have fought so many times. They know each other's style so well. Nico down on zeal. Having a decent HP lead, though, but starting to bleed down a little bit. Big kick from big kick from Pudge. Zealed out though. Is Nico gonna take advantage of it? Getting a kick, not quite what they needed. They needed a really big punch there. Nico getting taking a big kick to the face. Oh, this is really close. Big dodge. Is Nico gonna be able to get enough damage? Oh my god, what? <laughs> Tentacle damage? Are you kidding me? I've never seen a draw before. That's, 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 like, we just gotta do another one. We gotta do another one. That's, that's, that's the only way to do it. We gotta go another round. <laughs> Nico has had so many matches. This could potentially go to seven rounds. I can't believe it. I've never seen a fucking tie before. Oh my god, trading hits, kicks off the top. I'm just, we're all tired. Everyone wants to go home. It's just it's so tired. Pudge wants a nap. Nico wants his birthday cake. Pudge with an early damage lead. Nico responding with a kick. Getting a dodge for Nico. Very good. Pudge not getting a responding dodge. Evening out the damage. Oh my god. So Pudge's disadvantage is zeal. Already zealed out. Free punch from Nico. That's going to help him out a lot. And getting a kick as well. Super big for Nico. And a dodge. Oh my god. Nico is fucking tired of these rematches. They are both zealed out. They might be pretty even when they get up. No, Pudge got up early. Let's see what happens. Oh, big punch from Pudge. Oh, another follow-up. All right. Pudge is trying to turn the tides of battle. It's looking pretty even again. You cannot count one of these guys out. Oh my god. 
Big kick. Big kick from Pudge. Oh my god, it's so even. How are these guys so equal? It's insane. Pudge has numbers advantage, but Nico has experience. Nico has skill. Nico doesn't give up either. Nico is a fighter and a runner, and they're gonna make this, they're gonna fight till the very last goddamn second. Zealed out from Nico. This is big for Pudge. Pudge is able to get a bit of a lead. Is Pudge gonna be zealed out? Not quite. Dodge though from Nico. Nico might be able to get a couple hits in. Is this gonna be enough? It's looking really close. Oh, oh, it's big. Pudge. What the fuck did Pudge just do? Did they break the zeal early? Oh my god, Pudge takes it! Pudge takes it! Pudge wins with the first ever of with the first no bracket reset. What an upset. Pudge with a no loss run. The first of its kind. What an amazing show from both of these chow. Oh my god. All right, I know I know tensions are high. It's stressful. People's emotions are invested, but we have to give it up to the winner. Can we please get a big round of applause for our first two-time winner, Punch the Lone Samurai. <laughs> Yeah! And an even bigger round of applause for the birthday boy who never gave up, who gave it his all, who fought against all the odds and didn't give up until the last second. The birthday boy himself, Nico Jr. Such an amazing show. So much skill, so much expertise being shown in these matches. Who has inferior stats, by the way? Can we get a big... Happy birthday for Nico Jr. What an amazing match that was.